Hi, this is Steve Golly from Pentagon Solutions, and I'm in Revit Building Suite um, Ultimate uh, 2013. I'd like to take a look at creating a schedule to calculate the total tonnage of steel in columns. Um, if we looked at the actual member um, of the column, you'll see in here that it has standard properties. So these be uh, section properties, small radius, etc. And what we have in here is the standard uh, industry standard double uh, U value, which would be the uh, unit cross sectional um, weight. And really, we need to multiply that by the length uh, to get it in kilograms, and we divide by a thousand to get it into tons. So we can put that in as part of the schedule. So those values are already um, predefined in the Revit families. So to create the schedule, we simply go to view, we go to schedules, and schedule quantities. Um, in the category in here, um, I'm going to look at columns. Now, if you were doing uh, beams, you would have to uh, treat them separately. Well, I'm just going to select structural columns, and I'm going to hit OK. The parameters I'm going to put in is I'm going to put in that unit cross-sectional um, weight, W. I'm going to put in the length because I need to use that as a calculated value. And obviously, we need to separate the actual columns out. So normally, I use family and type. And I'm just going to simply move family and type up. So I have my um, W value, I have my length. Um, I need to create a calculated uh, value based on this. So I'm going to call this tonnage. And we're going to base this on a formula. So we're going to pick up the W. Um, we're going to multiply it by the length. Um, and I'm going to divide that by a thousand and hit OK. So you'll see that's accepted in here. What one note to note on this just from previous versions, if I actually edit that, uh, you can see it's actually divided by the thousand and it's um, suffixed the millimeters in there. So in previous versions of it, you might have to done this site differently, um, but we can simply work this out. So I'm just going to simply hit OK and hit OK. So in here you can see my family and type, um, you can see the length and you can see the tonnage in here. Now, if I wanted to get total tonnage, um, what we would do is we would edit our schedule fields. Um, if we go into sorting, let's group these by the family. Um, let's get a header and footer and get some grand totals. And I need a total at the bottom in here for my tonnage. So under my formatting, under tonnage, I'm going to say calculate the totals. So you can see in this particular instance, um, I've got one and a half tons of uh, structural columns um, in there. Um, so a very easy way to actually calculate tonics of steel in um, Revit structure. I'm David Golly. Thanks for listening.